Hello, I'm here with my students uh, at Cleveland. We're going to be going actually over some of the development tool that we learned in the class today. And we're going to go ahead and, of course, add the developer. Uh, if you don't have the developer, you need to go to uh, File, uh, Options, and we need to be able to make sure that we're going to customize ribbon and uh, developer should be checked. Uh, this is in relation to um, uh, Excel 2010 and 2013. It's different than 2007. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get two sheets. The first sheet, we're going to rename it as our work area. Here we go. And the second sheet is where is going to be the data. So I'm going to go ahead and try to buy one of four different type of computers. So I'm going to also zoom this a little bit and we're going to start with Dell okay then uh, HP uh, we're going to have Acer and we're going to have let's say uh, what else what do you think AU ASUS okay all right let's go ahead and give a prices for these so I'm just you know selecting whatever comes to my mind and we have Acer probably it's the cheapest of all and this one here let's put it seven hundred dollar of course million factor determine the price of a computer so this is basically what we're going to do is to select one of those computers and of course we're going to create a combo box uh, for this uh, data so we need uh, to really uh, be proactive we're gonna go ahead and put some of those link cell that we will need them. Mm -hmm. So this is actually for the computer, the link cell, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a uh, yellow color. I know I'm gonna be selecting the type of the monitor, so we're gonna have a three type of monitors. If it's gonna be regular L LCD, we're gonna not, not charge them anything. Mm -hmm. If it's plasma, we're gonna charge them $25. If it's uh, very high definition, we're gonna charge them $100 more, just to get a practice. So here is going to really, uh, for the monitor, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the uh, link cell for that. Also, I need to give a discount if the person is local of a 3%. I'm going to go ahead and choose a different color for that. And here, let me put the 3% directly so I don't forget. Also, uh, students will be able to get a larger discount. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this as, let's say this color, and we're gonna give them 10% discount. How about that? Mm -hmm. Are you happy with that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to our working area, and we're gonna say here the price, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go ahead and put this, here is the price it's gonna show. Let me go ahead and turn it into actually dollar figure. And I'm going to go to the developer, and I'm going to go to insert. Please don't mess up with the active control, active X control. Just stick with the form. This is an easy type of application. So we're going to go ahead and get to the combo box and we're going to draw one of those to cover both of them. As you notice, now it's surrounded with those, uh, it's, mean it's being selected. So I'm going to click on the right button and I'm going to format the control. And in order to input the data, I'm going to go ahead and click on this sheet where all the uh, data there. I'm going to select this and that's really where it's just really very nice that we already thought about which cell is going to be linked. Mm -hmm. So as you will notice, uh, if uh, I choose, of course, I'm going to choose Dell, it's going to give me one. And if I choose two, I mean HP, it's going to give me two. Uh, the same thing if I do actually the Acer, it's going to give me three and Asus is going to give me, uh, what do you call it, four, okay? Uh, I'm going to uh, actually go ahead and let me uh, sort this and see if that is going to be sorted also along the way with me there. Okay, see it did sort it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Before this, I wanted to go ahead and get the price. And I'm going to use the function choose, which is really easy function to use. Uh, the first thing I need, I'm going to click here is to get into the link cell, the value of the link cell. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, okay? One of these. Mm -hmm. If it's one, it's gonna be the price for this after I sorted them. If it's gonna two, that's gonna be the second price. If it's gonna three, it's gonna be this. 
if it's going to be for this one here, and I'm ready to close the whole thing. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let me see where a mistake we had here. Uh, let's say here. Okay, we have two extra data here, so I didn't notice that as I edited it. So this is actually the price for the HP. Notice if I change this, it's going to be here and so forth. Mm -hmm. Is that a clear? So what are we going to do here for the monitor? The monitor we had is three options. And also this is going to be the uh, dollar. And the best thing is to give them really a grouped option button, meaning they can choose one of the three, but they can choose only one of them. Mm -hmm. And in order for us to do this, let's go ahead and do the grouping here. I'm going to make it big enough so it'll accom accommodate for three of those option button or radio button. Some people call them that way too. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to go ahead and first of all, let's go ahead and change this and say monitor type. Okay. And now with this, I'm going to go ahead and click on the insert. Let's go ahead and do three combo box. This is the first combo box. I'm not sorry, option button. And this is the second option button. And it could make, we could be, I mean, it's nothing really uh, uh, difficult about that. And here we go. We're going to get the third one. And in this one here, I'm going to click the right button on this and edit the text. And I'm going to go ahead and say regular LCD, all just LCD, mm -hmm. say LCD. And for this one here, I'm going to edit, click on it, edit the text. Let's, let's go ahead and call it plasma. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and this one here, I'm going to click the right button and click edit text. And I'm going to say high definition. So as you notice, the high definition is going to be charged a hundred dollar extra. And of course, we can go ahead and click on that one here. And I'm going to put, put it a little bit. Notice if I select one of those uh, radio button, the other will be actually deselected. That's mm -hmm. what we mean by mutually exclusive. That means once I select one of them, it's going to exclude the other. Mm -hmm. Is that a clear? And we could use a choose a function or we could use the F statement. But before we do this, I'm going to go ahead and click on the right button to format the control. Okay, mm -hmm. and I want it to have it by default and it's checked and the link cell I already have prepared myself for that one. Mm -hmm. So notice now since I selected, if I click this, it's going to be one. See that? Because that's the first option. If I selected the second, it's going to be two. If I selected the third one, it's going to be three. Mm -hmm. So we know you could use a choose a cell. I'll say choose and open parentheses. I'm going to go and I click on uh, this one here. So if this value is one, uh, we're going to not charge them anything. So there will be no cost. Mm -hmm. If it's two, we're going to charge them $25. If it's three, which is the high definition, we're going to charge them $100. Mm -hmm. Okay. So notice because the third one was selected, therefore, see? Mm -hmm. All right, great. So let's go ahead and do the local. And the local is going to be a checkbox. The checkbox is a mutually ex uh, uh, inclusive, meaning you could select more than one at the same time. Mm -hmm. But at this time, I had only one in mind, whether is the uh, buyer is local or not. So let's go ahead and do this as we do here, like only uh, local. and Notice that, as you will see, when I click on this one here to format it, uh, I'm going to go to the link cell, which is right here, okay, the local. Mm -hmm. And the checkbox doesn't return one, two, three, because it only has two options. Mm -hmm. It's going to return either true or untrue. Mm -hmm. So when I do here, click on it, it's going to give me a true. You see that? Mm -hmm. If I unchecked it, it's going to give me false, as you notice. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. So now we link that to true and false. I will say if, if, go to the data sheet, if this is, is equal to true, and don't put the true between double quotes because true is a Boolean value. It's not a text value, okay? If this is a true, then we're going to go ahead and sum, you know, if this is a true, okay, we're going to go ahead and sum uh, this plus this, see that? Okay, mm -hmm. and I need to put those between parentheses. That's why I prefer to use a sum function. 
see that? Mm -hmm. And of course, you need the whole thing to be between parentheses, the whole thing multiplied by 3%, okay? Mm -hmm. Where is the 3%? Is right here, okay? Mm -hmm. So when we hit enter, of course, there is probably, all right, if you see it. Where? So I need I need to have uh, this one here. Otherwise, it's going to be zero. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do it again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete this function. I'm going to say here, if okay, if what? If this one is a true, mm -hmm. okay, let's go ahead and edit it here. Okay, mm -hmm. if this is a true, C R U E. All right, comma. So we're going to go ahead and say. Sum, let's go ahead and do the sum. That is the case. Okay, sum of this, comma, this, all right, mm -hmm. multiplied by the 3%. Mm -hmm. Okay, otherwise they're going to get zero. All right, mm -hmm. here we go. Okay. Where? No, no, I don't need that, actually. Uh, what is really doing, this is this is not needed here. Okay. That's basically, that will do it. Uh, See here, uh, uh, when we edit it, we don't need to put the sheet name. The sheet name should be inside it, okay? okay? So you sh after you put the comma true, start with sum, then you click on the cells, mm -hmm. all right? That's a good mistake that we we'll learn from it. So I don't want to really edit this video because I want it to be seen like it is. Mm -hmm. When people make mistakes, we could correct it. So sum, comma, sum, then open parentheses, click on this, and click on this. Mm -hmm. All right, then multiply it by whatever value. This is the 3%, otherwise they're going to get zero. Mm -hmm. All right, the same thing we're going to do for this one here. I'm going to go ahead and get the checkbox, and I'm going to go ahead and say for students checkbox, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and say students. And the same thing, students, and they're going to get 10%, obviously. And here we're going to go and start again, if, if. Mm -hmm. But before I do this, I have to really link this. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have to, but it's good to do it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and link that. Link cell is going to be right here. You see it? Mm -hmm. So, and now I could go ahead and make sure that if I click this, I have to see the word true there. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. So now we are ready to go ahead and put that if, if what? If this one here, see that? Mm -hmm. Equal to true, C-R-U-E, comma. Now the sum, see that? Mm -hmm. Of these two, this, comma, this, because I don't want to really put a range including this empty cell. That's mm -hmm. why I'm putting a comma. Okay. This one here multiplied by this one here, which is the 10%. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, comma, they will get zero discount, okay, because they're not students. And here we go. Okay, you want to include the local in the um, algorithm? Uh, what do you mean? No, no, when you put the number there, for how you uh, did your, you added parts and logical, you want to also include the parts of the uh, local discount? Because, like, I know the if says not there, Local discount, yeah, we will we will subtract if this is if any we'll subtract this we'll add this and this one here, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll uh, well after we add this we'll subtract this value plus this value from the total of these two. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and do this. I'm hitting Control key to get to select multiple, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. Is that a clear? Mm -hmm. And I will be actually doing the subtotal as the follows. Okay, the subtotal. It's going to be basically the sum of these two, this, comma, this, see that? Mm -hmm. Minus the sum of this, because we need to not tax them on those if they have some discount. They might have zero, you mm -hmm. see? And now notice that they have really good discount. Uh, if they added HP, it's gonna give them, uh, it added $100 more, mm -hmm. but if they are not local, that's gonna be zero. If they are not students, they're not gonna be getting all that. Mm -hmm. So the text, let's go ahead and, we are in Texas, so we're gonna go ahead and say this, multiplied by eight 
0.25%, that's a tax, and the total is going to be the sum of these two. Here we go. Actually, since they are next to each other, I could go ahead and put them as a range. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce the zoom a little bit to show you the whole application. And notice that everything is working. See that? Mm -hmm. You see? And this is working, and this is working. If I change this, it's going to work as well. So what are we going to do quickly? I'm going to go ahead and insert a text. Here we go. And before I do that, actually, it would be a good idea uh, to Sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and make this. This is my choice here. Okay. Actually, let me go ahead and do this first. Uh, this one here, all the way. I'm going to go ahead and remove. Uh, remove. Sorry. No. No edges. Here we go. Just put this around. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and put format the shape. I could get a picture of some sort, you know, if I don't like this, I could go ahead and get a picture of, let's say, it doesn't matter what, which one you will be putting, so, uh, let's go ahead and put this one here, just anything, okay? Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go ahead and make it really 80%, see that? Mm -hmm. So it will be behind the scene. And don't forget that we will be able to, all right, go ahead and click that to go behind in the back. So now I'll be able to do my, see that? Mm -hmm. And that is it. So we're gonna go ahead and stop and I'll render